Welcome to another video in our series on Red Sea Reefer 170. Today we're going to work through Red Sea's algae control test kit, which tests for both nitrate and phosphate. Now, as you can see in our tank, we have a lot of algae still hanging out lower down in the aquarium. The snails have done a great job cleaning the upper rocks, but they still have work to do. Now, we did add some additional snails as well as a blue tuxedo urchin into the tank to help expedite the process of cleaning these rocks up. But I must say that a big part of controlling algae in any reef tank is testing for nitrate and phosphate and keeping those levels within the desired ranges. Now we've actually already completed these tests and our nitrates came out at 16 parts per million, which is definitely higher than we prefer. Uh, nitrates should stay below 10 parts per million and ideally one to two parts per million. Our phosphate test came out at 0 0.04 parts per million which is well within a desired range. Obviously lower is better. We'd prefer phosphates at 0 0.00 or 0 0.01 parts per million. So to get them a, dish, a little bit lower we can obviously do a water change that'll help and we can adjust our dose of Red Sea's NO3 PO4X to help bring them down a little bit lower. But now it's gonna go ahead and work through these test kits and show you how we came up with these results. Thanks guys. All right, now we're going to do Red Sea's Phosphate Pro test kit. Uh, we started by filling 17 milliliters of sample water into our two vials. The first vial is a sample vial, and blank sample, and that's going to go in the outer section of our color wheel. The next vial is where we're going to put our test reagent. We start by adding 10 drops of reagent A. Again, turn the bottle upside down so if a drop falls off, it's going next to it. And we'll do 10 even drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we need to swirl for ten seconds. And then we're just going to do two drops of reagent B. Very simple test to do. One, two. Now we need to swirl again for 10 seconds. Then we're going to place it in the center of our color wheel. And we need to wait six minutes until we can read our test results. So place it in here. Now we're going to wait six minutes, set a timer, and we'll come back and show you our results. All right, now we have our results. And as you can see, when we compare the two, we have a reading of 0.04 parts per million. All right, now we're going to do Red Sea's Nitrate Pro test kit. Uh, the first step to this test is to add 16 milliliters of sample water from your aquarium to each of two test vials. The first vial goes in the outside chamber of your color comparison wheel. And that's your blank sample. Now, the next vial is the one you will add your reagents to. So the first step is to add five drops of reagent A. Again, turn the bottle upside down so you get five even drops. We'll do one, two, three, four, five. Now we need to swirl that for 15 seconds. The next step will be to add one level scoop of reagent B. Now reagent B is a powdered reagent, so you want to take your time, make sure you get level scoop. Sometimes you can use a card to level it. Just try to be accurate in how much you're adding. And this cap can be useful if you have to swirl reagent for a longer period of time. This one takes 60 seconds. So I'm going to put a cap on, help prevent any of the sample solution from splashing out of the test vial. That just helps to ensure a more accurate test. And obviously, if we're doing any test for our aquarium, we want it to be accurate. Otherwise, we're kind of wasting our time. So there's definitely a benefit to taking your time with the test and doing it correctly. Now, nitrates are very important to control in any saltwater aquarium because if they get out of hand, they can cause fish to get sick, be more susceptible to disease, corals won't open as well, and also uh, not color as well. And the big thing is you're gonna have a lot more algae growth. 
which again leads to more nitrates as that dies and gets cleaned off the glass. So controlling nitrates and phosphates is definitely very important for any reef aquarium. So now we've done 60 seconds there. I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, one level scoop of reagent C. Now you notice they provide you two spoons with these test kit, one for reagent B, one for reagent C. And that's because you don't want to cross contaminate any of your reagents. So you want to keep the spoons with the reagent. And it's not a bad idea to actually label them to do that. Now we need to swirl for 15 seconds. Now that we've added the one scoop of reagent C. And then we need to place this in the center chamber of our test vial. And we're going to set a timer for nine minutes. And then we're going to come back and compare our results. Now we're looking at our results and we can see that our test sample is actually darker than the highest level here. And what we just did was the lo low range test. Now we can actually move to the high range test. In that test we're going to use just one milliliter of water from the aquarium mixed with 15 milliliters of RO water and that'll give us a uh, more accurate high range reading to tell us exactly where we are. All right, we've completed our Red Sea Nitrate Pro test using the low range test and we've found that our levels are over four parts per million. So we need to repeat the test using the high range variation. So we're gonna place this sample vial with water from the aquarium, 15, 16 mils in the outer side of our color comparison wheel. And now this vial we've filled with only one milliliter of water from our aquarium and 15 milliliters of RO water. If you do not have RO water available, Shame on you. Every hobbyist should have RO water available. Obviously, you need that to top off your aquarium. That will end up going in the center uh, vial once we add our reagents. Now, the first step is to add, again, five drops of reagent A to the test vial. Two, three, four, five. And then we need to swirl for 15 seconds. The next step will be, again, to add one level scoop of reagent B. The steps are the same as for the low range test, except that in our vial here we have only one mil of water from the tank and 15 mils of RO water. Now we're going to go ahead and add one level scoop of reagent B. And then we need to swirl for 60 seconds. So we're going to put the lid on and make sure we're not splashing that out. And again, keeping our spoons together with the proper reagent. So again, controlling nitrate, very important for any tank. This is a newer tank, so our level is not as low as we want it to be yet. But what that tells us is that we're getting ready, uh, that we need a water change in this tank. And it's been a while since we did one, so this test, we already know that we, it's time for a water change because our level is uh, higher than we want it to be. But we're going to go ahead and complete the test, show you how to do it, and then we're going to move on to the phosphate test as well, because keeping phosphate under control is very important for controlling the growth of nuisance algae and also getting your corals to open fully and color up nicely. So the next step, again, will be one level scoop of reagent C. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to take your time and get level scoop. If you're having trouble, just use the card to level it like baking a cake. You want to make sure, again, to do accurate tests. Now we're going to cap that and swirl for 15 seconds. And then we're going to place this vial in our color comparison wheel, set a timer for nine minutes, and then we'll come back and check our results. Cap it. There we go. We'll come back and look at the results in nine minutes. All right, so now we've done our high range nitrate test and we can tell 
uh, by the card it points to 1 ppm, but when we compare that to our chart, we can tell that that's actually a nitrate of 16 parts per million. Another thing I must mention is that when you're reading your levels, it's good to look under a daylight setting around 6500 Kelvin. Make sure you're not looking under a very blue light, because obviously then it's going to be hard to interpret the accurate color of your test result. So now we know our nitrates are 16 parts per million. It's time for water change on our reefer tank.